You know the phrase, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Well, tonight, the story of one man who really took that to heart. After he moved into an iconic New York City hotel, authorities say he tried to steal it. That's right, the whole building. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan with the story. 48-year-old Mickey Barreto is charged with fraud and contempt. He's accused of two dozen crimes and all, but no one will ever accuse Mickey Barreto of lacking ambition. The Manhattan District Attorney says Barreto tried to steal a hotel, not rob a hotel, not steal from a hotel. The DA says he tried to steal an iconic 42-story Manhattan hotel. The New Yorker opened in 1930 an architectural masterpiece built during the Depression, and for half a century, it was where Manhattan's Tony celebrity and business elite would meet to eat and write it off. It survived all the trends and all the changes in the city, but it almost didn't survive Mickey Barreto. This was a criminal scammer who was abusing a certain facet of the rent stabilization law. Michael Tobin is a rent stabilization expert who talked to us about the quirk in New York's rent law that Barreto is accused of exploiting to gain a foothold, a permanent home in the New Yorker. Checked into a hotel and then claimed residence and refused to leave. And a judge ruled that Barreto could, in fact, stay in the hotel. And then this already strange story took a really bizarre twist. The later incredible claims of ownership of the entire property were clearly the acts of an unwell criminal individual. The Manhattan DA says in 2019, Barreto filed papers with New York City saying he owned the New Yorker, all 42 stories of it. He even tried to get some tenants to pay their rent to him and to have the current owners evicted from their own hotel. The legitimate owners of the hotel took Barreto to court and he was ordered to stop representing himself as the owner of the New Yorker. But according to the DA, he continued and now he is charged criminally for that effort. We tried to reach Mr. Barreto, whose last known address is his room here at the New Yorker, but the hotel says he is not registered as a guest here and his lawyers did not return our calls.